Right, you're a member of the Order of Canada. How did that come about and what was that like? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you're not told when people are submitting on your behalf. And apparently a number of people did. It was all, I only knew about it when I got a phone call nice. from the Governor General's office. And, you know, this woman introduces herself and said, I'm calling from the Governor General's office uh, from the Order of Canada. And I'm thinking, gee, somebody must be put me down as a reference. I wonder who, ah. you know. And then she said, I'm calling to tell you you are being awarded the Order of Canada. Do you accept this honor? And of course, I'm totally stunned. You're in the middle of work. You shut off a table saw and you run to the phone. And, and they're telling you this and I, you know, so I reverted to my usual. Um, so I, I reverted to humor, my fallback, you know, most of the time. So I'm on the phone with this woman. And I said, well, what are my options? <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's going, I'm not sure what you mean. I said, well, should I? go for the cash or you know, <laughs> I, and she had a good laugh and she said, no, we don't really have those options. I said, well, then of course I accept. I'm just completely so it's not like a Nobel. Totally. You don't get a million dollars. No, anything. no, there's no money, but there's an honor, but all right. So, you know, then <clears throat> it's, it's kind of unreal. Although there was a bunch of press around it, you know, that the batch of recipients that time get, you know, the piece in the paper and stuff like that. But then when you go to Ottawa and you go to Rideau Hall, you are treated like royalty. It's incredible. You're taken care of the whole way. All the recipients who are receiving it that round, um, uh, you meet them, and and uh, and you're you're taken in buses. And there's honor guards. You know, you walk through, and it's so formal. And uh, and you know, you have to rent a tux and the whole thing, and the dinners and the ceremony. And uh, my mother was 95 at the time. She's still alive. Nice. Uh, was able to come, which was great. You know, as long as you have a parent alive, it's like show and tell. Yeah. You know, right? I did okay, mom. You know, right. see? Yeah. And uh, uh, anyway, but what's interesting me, what, what was the most enjoyable, besides the honor of it all, which you really feel, felt finally the minute you stepped into Rideau Hall. That's when it hits you. Not before then. It was just kind of unreal. Okay, you got a great phone call. You have a nice story to tell, but you still got to go back to work. You still have to do the shopping. You know, you still got to clean the house. You know, regular life goes on. Um, but it's multidisciplinary. That's what's great about the Order of Canada. So at the same time, I'm meeting scientists, politicians, social activists, sports people, arts people. You know, every discipline was there. So you meet all these people while you're following them in your groups and you're eating lunch together and you're lining up here to go into this room. It, it was it's it was really, really uh, uh, it's just so special. I, I can't imagine anything better. A few of your guitars in the Museum of Civilization. How did that come about? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the Museum of Civilization. I love that name. Now it's the Museum of History or whatever, whatever it got changed to. Or oh, Harper's. Uh... Yeah, Harper changed the name. Um, but they... Uh, the Museum of Civilization, when it was built and formed, it was an amalgam of a few different museums that were around Ottawa in different buildings. And one of them was the Ethnomusicology Museum, which was already uh, buying handmade instruments by Canadians. So like even in my first year building or my second year, they wanted a guitar from me. They had one from early days. And then that got absorbed into this bigger museum but they were always paying attention to crafts and art. And um, they commissioned a second guitar from me. Um, and then a third one got there when I got the Bronfman Award in Canada, the Sadie Bronfman Award for Excellence, which is the highest award in the craft world. So every year, one person, they look at all craft disciplines, glass, clay, fiber, whatever, wood. And I got it one year. And part of that prize, is some cash as well as a commission by the museum. So I made a third guitar for them, which they have. And then they have one final one for me. I made an experimental guitar one time where I tilted the guitar top at 25 degrees. You know, if, if, if the guitar is flat here, um, you know, kind of out like that. I was trying uh, to see how close to classical harp angle I could get to see what effect that way of tensioning the, the top would do, what it would do. And it was an incredible instrument, very difficult to play, but sounded fantastic. And I had it and it doesn't fit in any case. It was so odd shaped. So it was sitting on top of the piano with a sheet on it. And I thought, well, 
maybe a safer place is the museum. So I donated it to the museum. So nice. they'd have it. So there's the four instruments the museum has.